Good morning, uh, this is Dr. Kenneth Lee with Orlando Health's Aesthetic and Reconstructive Surgery Institute. Um, we work at Orlando Health Cancer Institute and I just wanted to touch base with everybody and talk a little bit about implants. Um, one of the things that is a big question we get when we talk to patients for breast reconstruction are, are what type of implants do we use and why do we use them? Um, I think the majority of the country still use a lot, a lot of saline and silicone implants for breast augmentation or cosmetic surgery. But in the realm of reconstructive surgery, silicone implants rule. And that's mainly because as we lose all our breast tissue in a mastectomy, silicone implants offer more natural feel and actually have good efficacy and longevity. Um, let's take a look at these implants here. This is a fourth gener generation gel implant that's highly cohesive. It's made of silicone with a silicone shell. But the gel, uh, the cohesive molecules of the silicone are so bonded together that it is jello on the inside. It, even if you cut one in half, it doesn't leak at all. In fact, it maintains its shape. It maintains its shape so well that the FDA has said that if we put this implant in you, which is very, a very good implant, that you actually have to get routine MRIs because if it ruptures, it doesn't act like it's ruptured. It maintains its shape. So a ruptured implant will not change shape, uh, you likely will not have pain, and you just don't know because it's ruptured. So the FDA has said um, MRIs, um, you know, five years after you put them in and every three to five years after. This particular implant is best for reconstruction because it is natural, it is comfortable, and then it moves with the body as you are moving. So it is a better um, match for breast tissue that used to be there than a saline implant. Uh, the advantages of saline implants are clear because as you put a saline implant in, um, if it ruptures, it disappears and it's just salt water. So it's not an issue with knowing whether you have a rupture. Um, but once again, the benefits of silicone outweigh the risks of silicone. There's a couple different studies out there that show you that the 10-year data on silicone implants is around 92%, which means that 92% of patients at a decade have no issue with a silicone implant which is very different than what they used to say before. They used to say that every 10 years replace your silicone implant, and that is not the case anymore. In fact, we'll see patients in the office and they ask us whether we should routinely replace them and we never should do that. Um, we now replace them only if there's an issue, but we do um, strongly recommend surveillance um, with a silicone implant, just like the FDA. Once again, highly cohesive gel implants are the um, standard of care in breast reconstruction, and we offer them here at the Aesthetic and Reconstructive Surgery Institute at Orlando Health. Uh, come see us. Um, we will take good care of you here, and we are the place for total body restoration. Thank you.